Hi everybody, it's Wednesday the 29th of July. So let's look at our learning intention, solving multiplication problems using groups. To be successful, I know multiplication means to add the same number over and over. And I can draw circles and dots to work out the multiplication. So let's have a look. Multiplication is when you take one number and add it together a number of times. We're going to be learning groups of this week. Now, yesterday and the day before, I did do it a little bit differently, but we're going to be learning from what I'm going to say now. This is something that we're going to remember. So the first number we're going to be using as the groups. That's it, as the groups. Okay, so whenever you see that first number, that's how many groups you're going to make. The second number is how many you're going to put in each group. Okay, so repeat after me. The first number is how many groups. The second number is how many you're going to put into each group. So let's take a look at our banana story over here. I'm going to make a banana story. Five times two. I have five groups and I want to put two bananas in each group. That's five groups of bananas. Let's go and have a look. It's a little bit different to yesterday and the day before. Okay, so five groups. So we're going to look at this little sign as groups of. So we've got five groups of two equals 10. How many groups do I have? One group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. And there are two in each group. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. If you can count by twos, that makes it even easier. Let's count them, and, you, and your answer is what you get all together. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So five times two equals ten, or five groups of two equals ten. Let's look at another one. What about two groups of six? I have six groups, and I want two in each group. Oops, no. I have two groups and I want six in each group. So what's that gonna look like? Have a think about it. Visualize it in your head. You've got two groups and you've got six in each group. So I could do I could use my blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two groups of six. How many would be all together? I've got a different way of showing you on the next page. With eggs, two groups. There's one plate, so one plate is a group, and the second plate is a group. And on each plate, I've got six eggs. How many groups are there? Two. How many objects are there? Well, the objects are eggs. There are six. Okay, so your answer would be the total, six and six. Six plus six equals, let's count. I'm going to say six and count on six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So two groups of six equals 12. For your task today, it says here, play Tony's Tires Multiplication Game. Sorry, never mind about that one. Play Tony's Tires. So if you click on the link here, it will take you to Tony's Tires. You're gonna need your maths books for this too to show you're working out. Okay, so once it opens, it might need a little bit of time to load. If it doesn't load properly, you can just click the refresh button at the top of your page. Like this, mine didn't load properly, so I'm going to click refresh. And it should come up looking like this. All right, now remember we're going to practice our groups of. So as soon as you click go, you can choose, choose something that you want to practice. So you want to practice your two times tables. Maybe a three or four. Okay, let's go with two. Okay, and you click go. And it's got two groups of five. And so what you need to do is the first number is going to be how many groups you're going to draw. One, two. And you need to add five per group. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So how many do I have all together? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 2 times 5 equals 10. I can search for number 10. There it is. And it was correct. Good job. Doesn't really tell me. It doesn't, doesn't make a sound when I'm correct, but that's okay. It told me I was correct here. Yeah. All right. 2 times 5 again. 
this time. Two groups of five. Got the same one. Ten. How about two times six? Right, so if I've got two groups with six in it, well, you know what? I had five in each group before. What if I add one each? So we've got six in each group now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two times six equals twelve. So you can write it out in your in your maths books. You can draw you can draw maybe two or three of these out in your maths books.